What's up, Pace and friends for the Naked Ladies dance. Naked Ladies, Naked Ladies, Naked Ladies. Hello. Every night I rest in my bed. When I close my eyes, I go when I'm mad. What's wrong with me? There's a place in France where the naked ladies dance. There's a hole in the wall where the men can see it all. Hey guys, it's me, Brittany, also known as Pineapple Vegan, and welcome back to another video. I usually make, you know, the not so healthy vegan foods. It's not my fault. But you guys, it's actually not how me and my family eat all the time. It's not okay to eat super fat, plant-based junk food all the time. It's okay sometimes, but you know, we have to put nutrients in our body and give our body what it needs. Today, I am going to show you how to make one of my family's favorite, 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 completely plant-based meals. It is my sweet potato protein casserole. So let me tell you what you guys will need. I promise I will have the measurements in the description box below, but let's go ahead and talk about the ingredients first. So what you need is a big bowl of sweet potatoes washed and diced. I do not peel my sweet potatoes because there are nutrients in the skin of the sweet potato. A half of a sliced green bell pepper and a half of a sliced red bell pepper. One small yellow onion slice, about a half of a cup of grapeseed oil, and this is a mixture of Worcestershire sauce, <laughs> vegan of course, liquid smoke, and liquid aminos. About a cup of washed and drained quinoa. Then you're gonna need about a cup of dried mushrooms. About a cup of washed and boiled pecans. So all I did was wash these and boil these pecans in water and a little bit of liquid smoke for about 20 minutes or so when I drain them. Four to five cups of collard greens or whatever greens you choose to use. Edward and Sons, not chicken broth. And all this was, was one and a half of the little bouillon cubes that comes in here with about a cup and a half of hot water. And all I did was combine it until it was completely melted and mixed in really well. And our spices. In here I have smoked Spanish paprika, and I have chili powder, black pepper, parsley, and oregano. And this is going to be our blend for our sweet potatoes. And then the blend for our greens, poultry seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, and a pinch of red pepper that is ground. First off, we need to rehydrate our mushrooms. Get the Worcestershire blend with the liquid aminos and liquid smoke, and we're just gonna pour that over our mushrooms really well. Get a measuring cup, and we're going to put some of the broth in here. Now, the broth has been sitting here for a minute, so it's not as hot as it was, but that's okay. And we're just gonna press that down like that so that those mushrooms can get rehydrated. So now we're gonna do our sweet potatoes. Pour about half of that oil. Get our parsley, oregano, black pepper, smoked paprika, and our chili powder. And we're going to pour that in there. If you want more spices, that is totally fine. If you want less spices, that's totally fine. That's your business, that's up to you. Whatever you want to do. Now I have a convection oven. Oh, you think you fancy? For me to roast these, it's only gonna take me about 15 minutes. Oh! But if you have a regular oven, that's okay. Just roast them until they are done. And that should take about 20, 25 minutes or so. Oh. I, right, of course. I have a baking pan right here and it has parchment paper on it. If you don't have parchment paper, that's completely fine. You can just use foil, but I'm just going to line the potatoes on here. It's so funny, you guys, y'all be saying like, how do you eat like the way you eat and be so small? I don't eat that stuff. It's good, it's really good for cravings, especially if you're newly vegan and you're struggling to stay on track. It's nice to have alternatives because you don't want to mess up, especially if you've been vegan for a while. It's hard to undo a lifetime of eating in just one day or a couple months or even a couple years. It's harder for some people. So don't feel bad about yourself if you slip up a little bit. 
Just don't do it again. I'm just joking. But seriously, don't beat yourself up about it. All right, into the oven these go. So pretty. So in a food processor, we are going to get our rehydrated mushrooms and then our pecans. And then we're just gonna go ahead and close it and pulse it. All right, let's take our processed meat and we're just going to put our mushroom and pecan meat in a bowl. The reason why I like to use rehydrated mushrooms is because they have a tougher texture. It puts you in the mind of like steak, if, if you will, but without the cruelty, obviously. It smells amazing, my mouth is watering. All right, so there's our mushroom pecan meat. We're just gonna sit that to the side and now, what we're going to do is take our oil and put it in our hot pan, the remaining oil that you have. And then we're gonna add our veggies. So just add all the fresh veggies. Oh, it sounds good. So I would typically add fresh garlic to this as well, but I'm out. I thought I had some, but I'm out. Now be sure you check on your sweet potatoes. Not yet, but make sure you do check on them. You might want to flip them. Mine should cook pretty evenly, but if you do want them crispier, I suggest flipping them halfway through. I'm going to let them cook a little bit until the onions are just a little translucent. I don't want to overcook them because they are still going in the oven as well. And we like our veggies to look crisp, you know? Y'all, I love this pot. I got this from Caraway, you guys. This Dutch oven is amazing. Oh my gosh. It's so sleek and sexy. Look at my lid. I'll put the details down below if you guys wanna get one for yourself. It's ceramic and the bottom is the magnetic. That's why I'm able to use it on the induction burner. And it can definitely hold way more heat than regular pot. So you can cook high heat with this if you want. You can deep fry with this. So now that our veggies are cooked down pretty well, we're gonna add in our meat. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in the spices. Now remember, this is the onion powder, the garlic powder, the poultry seasoning, and the pinch of ground red pepper. And we're just gonna cook this until it is pretty brown. And I'm gonna actually crack some fresh black pepper in there as well. That's about six cracks. It smells heavenly in here. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to add about a tablespoon more of the oil, only because I want my meat mixture to cook through better. Shoot, I barely need the oil with this pan. This must be like UFO technology. Let me find out. Mm. If you need it to just have a little bit of a more salty taste, all you have to do is put in a tiny bit of vinegar or lemon juice if you want. All right, so our mushroom meat is pretty cooked through really well. It looks so good. It smells amazing. So now we're gonna put in our greens. Okay, and let's just saute the greens in there a little bit. I want them to cook down some. Do not add any more liquid. You don't need to add any more oil either. As you can see, it cooked down pretty well. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is add in our wash quinoa. And then we're gonna pour in the remaining of our broth that we made. And you're gonna wanna toss that in there because we need that quinoa to get wet. And it's not gonna look really appetizing right now, you guys, but trust me. So now what we're going to do is take our sexy lid <laughs> and cover it and then lower the heat down to a low simmer. And we're going to let that simmer until our quinoa is done. So when you know your quinoa is done is when the little grains of quinoa poof open like little poofs and it'll be really light and fluffy. So I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so we're back and everything is finished. The sweet potatoes are perfectly crispy. I have a little little dark ones, like kind of like some burnt edges over there. That's fine, they're still just as good. Ooh, yes. So this is our mushroom pecan meat mixture mixed in with our collard greens and our onions and peppers. 
They smell so good, you guys. So now I'm gonna do something weird. She will probably add something unnecessary, like raisins. I know, right? <laughs> Wait a minute, just listen, okay? We're going to take about a cup and a half of barbecue sauce. Any barbecue sauce that you want. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to, but I recommend doing it. The flavor is out of this world. Ah, I understand. So I'm gonna put in a few shakes of nutritional yeast. Add in your sweet potatoes, pour them in there. And then all you're going to do is just gently toss everything in there together. So I'm going to bake this in the oven um, with a lid off for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, you guys, so it's been about 20 minutes and I pulled it out of the oven and it smells phenomenal. My children have come downstairs three times asking me what that smell is. But let's go ahead and dig in so that I can show you. There we go, honey. All right, you guys, so it's straight out of the oven. It's still very hot, super hot, but I wanna taste it. My mouth is watering so bad. Okay. Yes. Mmm. That's good. You like it? How are you eating in this hot? I'm an alien. What is that? Um, liquid amino? Mm hmm. What? I put a tiny bit in there. It tastes good. You know, we normally have it in a bowl, but I decided to do a casserole this time. Mm hmm. Babe, I said taste it. You ate all of it. <laughs> all right, you guys. So, as you can see, clean plate is going. If you make this, please let me know because I want to know what you thought about it. It's so different, it's so unique, but it's very delicious and full of flavor. Trust me, I would not steer you in the wrong direction. If you like this video, you guys, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload videos. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much if you tried it, if you're going to try it. If you've tried any of my other recipes, thank you, thank you, thank you. I truly appreciate you and I'm so happy to continue with you guys and grow with you. See you later.